Hi everybody, this is Dr. Raleigh Duncan with Clearlight Sauna and you are at Clearlight Sauna Mailbag where we answer questions that you send in. Today's question comes from Jeff in Kirkland, Ohio and Jeff wrote me and said, Dr. Duncan, what is the relationship between toxins and cancer? That's a great question, Jeff. Thanks for sending it in. So this is a pretty involved question, but I'll try and be brief. So toxicity in our environment they say that there's 80,000 toxins in our environment that our great-grandparents weren't exposed to. Now, just think about that, 80,000 toxins with more coming on all the time. And only a few hundred of those have been tested to see what effect they would have on the body. Now, if any of you watched the, the last segment that we did was about weight loss and something called obesogens and go look at that one but basically obesogens are toxins in the fat cells and you can't lose the weight so it's very interesting but we're talking about cancer here and so even if you do a test on one toxin in the human body to see what effect it has that's one thing but once you put two or more toxins together then you can't really do a study for that you know because then it mathematically for 80,000 chemicals starts to double up and there's a thing called toxic burden or toxic load that we all carry around with us and uh, I would draw everyone there's a, a David Ewing Duncan who's a journalist and he's up on our website he wrote a piece for National Geographic that's very interesting about toxicity so if you want to look that up it goes into the whole thing about the toxins in our bodies and how they stay for a long time and they will cause, you know, have the ability to cause cancer, to affect the way that our metabolism work. It can change the way that uh, everything from hormones to uh, nervous cells, uh, all your nerves and, and the way you perform, the way that your body functions. So it can even mimic diseases. So the president puts out uh, a report and one came out in 2010 and it was the President's Cancer Panel. came out in two, 2010, and it was about 240 pages long. And what it was talking about was cancer in, in our world today, cancer in America and what we can do about it. And it reads basically like how to avoid environmental toxins, how to avoid toxins in your home, in the workplace, uh, anywhere in the environment. But what it didn't really address is what do you do about the toxins that were already in the body. And I want to read you a few things that they said. They said that the connection between cancers and chemicals is grossly underestimated. Okay? And they made seven recommendations. And that is to drink filtered tap water, store food in stainless steel or glass, uh, choose pesticide-free fruits and vegetables. Minimize the exposure of children and pregnant women to chemicals. Choose free-range, hormone-free, and antibiotic-free meats. Check home radon levels. And reduce radiation exposure from medical tests and cell phones. So that's all well and good, but it didn't address what do you do about the toxins you have in your body. And this has been our our mission here for the last 16 years at Clearlight Sauna in coming up with the heating systems. This is our sixth generation heating system to heat the body gently with infrared and to actually get the toxins out. And I spent the last weekend with uh, Dr. George Yu. Uh, Dr. Yu is an eminent oncologist, surgeon, and he's been working uh, recently with a group that are detoxifying uh, Gulf War veterans, first responders from 9-11. And what they've done is actually taken tissue samples. and take tissue samples before and after. And they use saunas quite a bit. It's a whole regimen of different nutraceuticals that they utilize also. Uh, and you're in the sauna for five hours. And these are people with a whole lot of toxins. Then they'll go back and they'll take tissue samples, adipose or fat cell tissue samples, to see what the difference is. So we know that getting in the sauna for a long time will take toxins out. And so we look at it as maintenance because number one, you have the toxins that are stored in your body right now, the toxic burden. 
And two, you have the toxins that are coming in from the air, from the water, from the food. Just walking down the street, if there's a lot of traffic on the road, you're breathing in these toxins. So it's a deep subject. Uh, if you want to look up more, I would say there's a great uh, article on our website that was put there, uh, written by um, David Ewing Duncan. No relationship to me. He is a, a San Francisco Bay Area journalist and author. And um, he's written some really good books. And the, we have an article that he wrote for the National Geographic talking about toxicity and your health and what he went through. So I take a look at that or just um, you can look up this uh, President's Council report and you, you, what you want to look up is uh, the President's Cancer Panel. And then on the first page it says reducing environmental cancer risks. So that says it all. Direct link, toxins to cancers, toxic burden in your body, how do you get it out? Just get in the sauna we recommend getting in at least three times a week. And if anyone wants to um, ask me any specific questions, it's Dr. Duncan at infraredsauna.com. I look forward to hearing from you. And please keep the questions coming. Uh, this is a bright spot in our day. So thank you very much, and we will see you out there. Bye-bye.